Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. So for the past year we've made a lot of really cool things in Illustrator and Photoshop, but this week I wanted to switch it up a little bit and talk about web design because web design is a really, really important part of not only a web designer's life or a creative person's life, but anyone that wants a web presence these days. And it's actually much easier than you might think it is. Uh, so this week I'm going to talk about... it's just about WordPress. Uh, I've got Behance up on my screen just for those of you that are looking for a portfolio option that don't want to take too much time or effort to upload an actual site. Behance is a great option. Um, if I just click on this person, for example, you can see what their portfolio looks like on Behance and they typically all look this way. Um, it's just a bunch of work laid out. This work is really awesome. Um, so that's what you typically get with a Behance site. Squarespace is also a great option for portfolios. They also have added on e-commerce options as well as I saw the other day they were advertising to me on Facebook for a wedding uh, website. So they've got that too. So they're definitely expanding. Uh, but the one thing that I really like about WordPress that I'm not sure Squarespace has, I might need to do my research a little bit more, is that WordPress has plugins and plugins are so powerful when you have a WordPress theme. For instance, I use um, an SEO plugin so I can optimize every single post that I, I put up on my blog. Um, I've got a download plugin so all the freebies that you download off my blog um, it's got a nice button that connects to the freebie and I don't have to host it anywhere. It's all with the plugin. Um, so it's got a lot of really awesome options that you can add on with plugins. You're not just limited by customizing a template that's already um, available to you. So we're just talking about WordPress. Um, so we're going to get started. I always shop for my WordPress themes using ThemeForest. ThemeForest is the number one site online for looking for a website theme. And before you get into there, um, kind of make a list about what you're looking for in a website. For me personally, um, let's just use an example of looking for a new blog, a new blog uh, theme. So. In this blog theme, I want it to feel like a lifestyle theme, just so it matches my personal aesthetic. I want it to have a nice about page because a lot of people click on the about page of a blog. Um, I would like a sidebar because I like um, housing additional content on the side. And um, maybe just showing off photography really well too because a lot of the things that I show are design work or um, photos of different types of templates online or assets that you can use. So just keeping in mind those four things, um, then I can get into ThemeForest and really narrow my search down and have a lot more success instead of just making my decisions on whether or not I think it looks good. We need it to function really well too. So let's get into ThemeForest and I will leave links to all these sites that I'm mentioning in the video description so you can check everything out from there. Um, so let's get into ThemeForest. And once you get here, you're going to come over here to WordPress and choose Blog Magazine or whatever other WordPress site that you'd like to make. Uh, for my example, I'm going to use a personal blog. So I'm going to come over here and click Personal just so I can narrow my results down a little further. So here's the first tip that I have. When you're looking at the list of different themes, the first few themes that are listed, uh, they go in order of the time that they were approved. So they have to go through an approval process before they can ever be put up for sale on ThemeForest. So these ones were the ones most recently approved and published to ThemeForest. So you can see these ones only have a couple of sales because they haven't been up for sale for very long. So I don't know about you, but I don't like being a guinea pig. So I never even look at these. I just go right past them because I don't want to get my heart all set on one of these and then find out it's actually a really sucky theme. <laughs> I would rather have other people to figure that out for me and then I can buy based on their experiences instead of me being the guinea pig for that. So I, I really just scroll past all of them. I don't even look and I'm just going to skip all the way ahead to page five because I don't want something that's too old but I want it to have been around long enough where any bugs that it might have had at the beginning were straightened out and a lot of people were able to buy and give feedback for these so then I can use that feedback to my advantage knowing what I'm kind of in for if I decide to buy it and go with it. So I'm just going to click on page five. That seems like a pretty good place to begin. And as you can see over here, you've got stars based on ratings that people have 
um, given this item. You can only rate an item if you've purchased it. So these are actual buyers that have rated the item. Um, you can see how many sales it's gotten as well. And over here, if you just hover on top, you can kind of um, get a little preview of what the site looks like. And I usually base a lot of my decisions on whether or not I click on just what this hover looks like. So this one actually looks kind of cool. Like I'd be interested in checking it out, but right away I see it's only got four stars and I need at least four and a half in order for me to feel comfortable. And it's only got three ratings and 34 sales, which isn't very many compared to some of these that have 200 that have been around just as long as it. So I'm just gonna scroll a little further. I'll hover over and find find something that we like. These ones all look too corporate -y to me. All right, so this one looks really, really good. Um, it definitely feels like my style. And um, if you look over here, it's super affordable. It's got 99 ratings, so a lot of really, really happy people that have bought this. And look at how many sales, almost 4,000 sales. That's a lot of people that have bought and um, really liked it. So you know that um, this author is doing well. So I'm just gonna open it in a new tab so then I can keep looking because you don't wanna just get your heart set on one. You wanna make sure you compare and are confident that it's the right decision uh, to move forward with, with. So I'm just gonna scroll to the next page and let's see, let's check out this one. And that one looks pretty good too. All right, so we've got three sites that we can check out. And okay, so now that you're on this page and you want to figure out if this is the one for you, here's some really quick tips of things to look at. First of all, you want to look at the author. This is the person that created the item. And right here, this is an important icon and this is an important icon. This icon says that they've been um, selling which right away you know that they've sold over 75,000. It's They're called an elite author, um, which if you're in the marketplace, they they usually deserve like a pat on the back because it means that they've been very successful. If you sell over 75 grand on the marketplace, you are a successful person. <laughs> so that's a really good sign, which means that they're committed to doing well on here and people have been buying their items. And then over here, this little paw says how much they've actually sold. So this person sold over $500,000 on the Envato market, which they've probably made a career here. So it's really important for them to output really successful items to keep them uh, freelancing successfully. So that's all really great signs. You can see this buyer rating, four and a half, that's excellent. And um, let's see, they've got some testimonials, read through these, see what people are saying. Um, and then some people um, also put in extra little features, little selling points. Uh, here's a nice features list. A lot of people do this too, so take your time and read through it and make sure it's everything that you're looking for. And I always look for a change log too, just to see what kind of issues um, happen previously that have been fixed and also when their last update was. This was four months ago, which isn't terrible. I wish there was an extra uh, version of changing, but who knows, maybe it's a solid theme and they didn't need uh, to spend the time to change anything else. So let's check out and see what it looks like. Okay, I usually remove this frame just to get an idea of what this will look like um, if it were mine. Uh, the first thing that I notice is that it doesn't have a sticky nav, so that's kind of a bummer. Like in order to get to your menu, you have to scroll all the way back up to the top. I also notice that this doesn't automatically page through. These are things that might be able um, to be fixed by yourself or if you know a developer. Uh, the sidebar looks really nice. I like the layout. Uh, I'm a little concerned that there's white text on an image because if I have a really light colored image, does that mean sometimes my text won't be able to be seen? Um, that's definitely an important question. But it does show off photography well, which was one of my um, must-haves. And the other thing that I wanted was a nice about page. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, it's pretty basic. It's just a square. I wish it was a little nicer than this. Um, and it's very short. But it's nice that all the articles that the author wrote are fall right below it. So all in all, I think it's a pretty good theme. I don't think um, I don't think it's perfect for me, but um, I think it's a great option. So if we come back here, let's just see what other people are saying about it. So in the comments, I always look to see if the author 
has responded whenever there's been questions that have been posed to them if they respond right away and it seems like this person is on it he does a really good job replying to every single one of these people he responds to so that lets me know that if i buy this theme and i have any issues i'm going to get help right away from the person so that's that's really really important um so yeah, I think this is solid. Maybe I would check out the rest of his portfolio and see if there's anything else in there that I would like more. Um, but he's definitely a good good person to follow. So let's check the next one. Um, so first things first, this person is a power elite author. So that's they've sold a lot of money. They've sold over two million. Um, so chances are they know what they're doing. <laughs> um, so the rating is really good. So that's great. We've got some nice testimonials over here. Let's see if they've got a, a change log. It looks like they do. That's good. Nothing crazy. And let's check out and see what this looks like. Let's remove the frame so we can see it better. Okay. So this seems a little, this top part seems a little dated to me, like I've seen it before, but um, it does have a sticky nav, so that's nice. I like that. And this does um, scroll automatically. Uh, this seems a little too gray to me, which you could probably change. And the typeface is definitely uh, feeling a little older, maybe a little too fancy or old lady to me. So I think I'm going to move on and check out some other um, templates. This isn't really doing it for me. So I'm just going to move on. Let's check this last one out and let's see so they're another elite author so that's a great sign and they've sold over a quarter of a million so that's also great and you can see it's got a lot of sales and an excellent rating so everything is pointing to good things uh look at this they keep re releasing new versions so they're keeping their customers happy by making sure they've included everything that people are asking for so that's a great sign uh, we've got our features list They've got their own support website and nice testimonials. So all this looks really good. So let's check out the theme. I'm gonna remove this frame. Okay, so this is different um, and pretty cool. I like this. Uh, and let's see, yep, their nav is sticky. So that's nice, but I don't see a sidebar here. Let's see if they've got one. Yep, homepage with sidebar. So let's uh, load this up and see what this looks like just to make sure we've got space for everything that we'd want in a sidebar. And that looks really good. Everything just kind of moved itself over a little bit. And yeah, so this is looking really good. Let's see what the footer looks like. We've got some nice widgets here, a little bio, which in about is really important on a blog. And this is a really cool um, kind of a custom thing for Instagram that you don't see on any any other blog so that's cool and you've got um, all of your social links too which is helpful so let's go back to the top and check out let's see what the about page looks like this is definitely the the best about page we've seen so far and i like that you've got the social right below it and you've got the same type of um, footer stuff right below it too so this seems like a really solid theme. A lot of people have bought it. A lot of people have been really happy and the author's got really good credibility. So this would be one, a serious contender for me um, with this, the search for a blog theme. So I hope some of these tips have really helped you um, keep in mind what to look for when you're first starting a website. This is the, the very beginning of getting your site up. So you wanna make sure that when you get a theme, you're getting all the functionality that you're really looking for and hopefully, and matches and aesthetics as well. So if you enjoyed this tutorial or just kind of walk through, please subscribe and don't forget to check back next week when I'll talk about getting your domain and setting up hosting. That one's going to be a really big one, uh, very important walkthrough. So in the meantime, um, look for your theme, make your list, and I will see you next week.